1957, Clara Looper, an Oklahoma City high school teacher and advisor to local NAACP Youth Council, was invited to bring her students to New York City to perform a play she had written in honor of Martin Luther King. When the bus they were riding stopped for dinner in St. Louis, they were stunned when they were seated next to their fellow white citizens in a fully integrated establishment. When asked to recall the moment, Looper's daughter Marilyn, eight at the time, said, quote, that was amazing. Inspired by that moment and the works of Dr. King, Ms. Looper and her students decided to stage their own nonviolent campaign to end lunch counter segregation in their hometown. They tried to negotiate with local business leaders and city officials. They wrote letters to white religious leaders looking for their support. Turned away and ignored, young Marilyn came up with a plan. She said, I move that we go down to Katz's drugstore, sit down and drink a Coke. So on October 19, 1958, 62 years ago today, Clara Looper and her young students, aged 6 to 17, staged one of the first national sit-ins at Katz's drugstore lunch counter in Oklahoma City. They didn't get their Cokes. They got called names. They got spit on. They got drinks poured on them. They got knocked off their seats. But they stayed and then came back the next day and the next with more recruits. They persevered until finally Katz has agreed to desegregate, and not just that single diner either, but all their outlets in the region. Maryland got her coke, and this little plan started a wave of student-led protests that spread across the South, growing from lunch counters, churches, and amusement parks to marches, boycotts, and voter registration drives. Claire Looper was a warrior, a civil and human rights war hero. What we see happening today, citizens nonviolently protesting, comes directly from her and those students having the courage that day to sit down, having the strength to endure the hate, and having enough love in their hearts to keep coming back. Now, while we often point to the flashpoint events, like the original March on Washington or the death of George Floyd for pushing us forward, it's also important to remember the Clara Loopers, lost to history, who set us on a path to progress. So on this day, the anniversary of that courageous stand, I say thank you.